Former Baylor quarterback Jared Stidham. He has informed uh, multiple sources that he has received his release from the school today, or excuse me, yesterday, and has three seasons of eligibility elsewhere and will be able to play again in 2017. Here's the problem. You know, I, well, first we'll talk about his freshman year. He did pretty good. He had to step in. Seth Russell got hurt, and he stepped in. 1,200 yards passing, 68%, almost 69% completion rating, and uh, completion percentage, 12 touchdowns to two interceptions. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But now he's like, well, I'm, I'm going to transfer. I'm going to leave Baylor. Now, whether that was because of, you know, what's happened with the whole Baylor scandal, rape issue, who knows? A lot of players have left, uh, the, both that have already been there and those that were recruits, and they lost half of their recruits from the class of 2016. Now, multiple sources have said that his favorite right now is the University of Texas, and this is where it becomes a little interesting. Now, again, if he transferred anywhere, uh, FCS, another FBS program, uh, Power 5, anybody that's not in the Big 12, he will have three seasons of eligibility. And obviously, you have to sit out in 2016, this upcoming season, unless he goes to FCS or JUCO, then he can play right, right away. But if he goes anywhere else except for the Big 12 schools, he can play for three. He'll have three seasons of eligibility. The problem is, if he goes to the University of Texas, if he goes to a Big 12 school, then he'll have two years of eligibility. He'll have to sit out 2016. They'll count it. There's some rule where he will lose a year of eligibility, and then he gets. And then in 2017, he'll be able to play. Still be able to play in 2017, just only two years of eligibility after that. And he might only use two, so he might not even care. But there are other options for Jared Stidham. Obviously. He is going to be a guy everybody's going to be recruiting. It, it doesn't matter. This guy obviously has some talent and is very good. So a few options that have just popped into my head. These are not any, you know, somewhere where I've read or anything like that. These are just purely uh, just options that came into my mind. And I want to hear yours as well. Clemson, Houston, Ohio State, Alabama, USC. That's just to name a few. Obviously, he's... A lot of other schools are going to be vying for him. They, they all want him. But this is the part that doesn't really make sense, though. Now, he's saying that he really wanted to transfer because he wants to play immediately, right? And, and there's a good shot that, hey, Seth Russell, he could get hurt again. You could step right in. And you could still, and then, and either way, you would take the reign come next season because Seth Russell is a senior and you step right on in, Right? But apparently, he was upset about not getting as many snaps and really wanted, he really thought Seth Russell would just be a starter this year. So that's why he wanted to transfer. One of the reasons. Uh, Baylor interim head coach Jim Grobe said, quote, I don't care if you're a freshman or a senior. If, you, if you've earned the snaps, you're going to get the snaps. But in Jared's case, I think if he's felt like going forward, if he ended up like he was last year behind Seth, and only got 20, 30% of the snaps, then he'd be wasting a year of eligibility. So that is his, that was his consideration, end quote. So if he wants to play immediately, then his only options are to go Juco or the FCS route. That's it. There's nowhere he could go in the FBS that he could play this year. So it's kind of like, all right, you want to play immediately, yet if you want to end up going to one of these big schools, or any school, any school in the FBS, in Division One, you're still going to have to sit out. Baylor still gave you an option to at least play. So my question is, again, the, the only way he could play immediately is transferring to JUCO FCS. That's, that's it. Otherwise, he's going to have to sit out, get his three years of eligibility later. Now, there was some talk that he was going to go to some Waco Junior College and not even play football and just – let that time pass, and come spring, boom, transfer to the University of Texas. That, that's that been the talk. And as a TCU fan, Jared Sinem, I, I, I recognize his talent. I recognize his talent. And him going to Texas, that would, that would definitely be something. And Texas would take him with open arms. 
Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Where do you see Jared Stidham transferring to and playing in 2017 or even 2016? You got an FCS school you want to call, call out. Go ahead. What are his plans? That's, that's what I want to know. Uh, I think. He will just end up transferring. Either he does that Waco Junior College, and then in the spring he'll transfer somewhere else. Uh, or, and, and, and that means not even play football, which is completely different than, you know, just staying at Baylor and you possibly could have played. Uh, or he just goes ahead and just transfers to a, a big-time school. I mean, you think about it. Deshaun Watson, he's most likely gone from Clemson next season, after next season. Houston? Greg Ward is gone. I know they're bringing in uh, Kyle Allen, but Jared Siddham feels like he could be better than him. Step right on to Houston. Ohio State, they get quarterbacks every single year. They're getting about three or four every recruiting class, but if he wants to go play for Urban Meyer and, and go to a big-time school like Ohio State, there you go. If you want to go to Alabama, they got a spot. They got a spot. I'm in the Elite 11 to a uh, – I can't remember his last name. That guy was good. But Jared Stenham might be – he's probably he's already a little bit better than him. So, could go to Alabama. USC, they don't really have any quarterbacks right now. Could be a spot. And, again, there are dozens and dozens of other schools. So, don't think if I left your school out that I, I don't see him going there. It's just those are some of the big-time schools that will have a quarterback opening here very soon. And depending on what op- or, excuse me, what uh, offense he wants to play in, I mean, he can really step into a pro-style offense or he can step into a uh, – you know, a, uh, any type of spread offense, whatever it might be. I don't see like an Oregon type thing. I don't see him doing that. Uh, but there are options for him. Let me know where you guys think he will go. I don't want to go